Good evening, family. Tony here once again. It's Saturday night. It's August 31st, 2024. I'm making this video late because something really profound happened and I wanted to tell you guys about right away. I'm making it out on the porch for a specific reason. I'll explain here in a little bit. Um, before I get to that, if you haven't come to Lord Jesus Christ, do it today. Put your faith and trust in Christ. Um, believe the gospel. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Jesus died, was buried, and raised on the third day. That's what saves you. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You're saved by faith. In Ephesians uh, chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, it says, ye are saved by faith. Or by grace through faith, not of yourselves, is the gift of God, not of works, works, lest any man should boast. So you can't save yourself. You can't do anything to save yourself. There's nothing you can do to add to the finished work of Christ on the cross. Put your faith and trust in Christ and Christ alone for your salvation. That's it. Once you believe, the moment you believe, you'll receive the Holy Spirit, which will teach you and guide you in all things. And it will teach you to do good it will it, that will be your guide to do right it, it's not about doing right to receive god it's about receiving god so that you can do right is that if that makes any sense you can't you can't be saved without christ first the works are important but not until after you're saved because you can't save yourself it's always important to do good works you, everybody should do good works but the point is you can't save yourself you can't you can't re Obtain salvation through your own works. Only through the finished work of Christ on the cross. So put your faith and trust in Him today. And don't wait another minute. If you've been on riding the fence, don't wait. Time's running out, guys. Just look around the world. Look at the things going on in Israel. Israel's like God's prophetic timepiece. Things that are happening in Israel right now are prophetic. And um, everything that's happening in the world right now is by design. The world is in upheaval. Things are happening everywhere. It's, it's just like... Things happen in a chain event, so it's just like boom, 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 boom. I mean, any moment now, that sky's going to burst open and that trumpet's going to sound. So put your faith and trust in him today. Don't waste another moment. And what happened was really crazy. i got to start from the start. I'm going to try to make it quick, but it's a lot of information. So just bear with me. It'll be worth it. Okay, this morning, my daughter received some uh, bedroom furniture that she had purchased herself. She's got a job, and she was purchased herself some bedroom furniture. Not bedroom furniture. Yeah, bedroom furniture. I don't know why that don't sound right. So bedroom furniture. She got a, um, a bed frame and um, a desk and a nightstand. And she bought it from Ikea and had them deliver it. Delivered today. And I promised her that I'd help her put it together. So we got all this stuff put together. And we were bringing the old furniture out to put in the garage. It was about midday. And we got outside the the alarms outside. There was an alarm going off. It was the, you know, like the air raid signal, you know, the, the when there's a bad storm or something, the alarm goes off. Well, they were testing it today, evidently. And I know they test them on Saturday, so, I mean, it's not that uncommon. You know, out here in the country, we those they do that a lot. So I'm explaining to my daughter what it, what it was. She said, what is that? And I was explaining to her. She's heard it before, but she was just wondering why it was going off. And I said, that's a test. They do it, you know, periodically. Um, it's usually on Saturdays. And um, I explained to her what it was. And um, so went back in the house, and later, the, later in the day, I noticed that Gigi with Blue Heaven had posted a video, and um, it was something to the effect of uh, all the signs, you know, the, the day of the raptures, you know, you know, getting closer or whatever. I don't remember what it said, but it was her latest video if you wanted to see that. Uh, Gigi Blue Heaven. Um, Blue Heaven is the name of her YouTube channel. Her name is Gigi. <laughs> so, um, anyways, um, I watched the video. And then, after I watched the video, I guess the video that I watched reminded me about the alarm going off. And you'll, it'll make sense in a minute why that reminded me of the alarm going off. So I texted Kevin on our group chat. Actually, it was uh, it was just straight to Kevin. It wasn't to the group. It was straight to him because I was talking to him earlier today about something. Um, and I was telling him about the alarm. And he was kind of like, wow, that's, you know, let's go. I'm ready to go. You know, you know not that that means the rapture is going to happen it's just we've been talking a lot about some signs that may be happening you know, what we're looking for whatever but um, i'm sorry about the traffic guys there's nothing i can do about the traffic but i wanted to do this out here um again i'm gonna explain why in a minute so um anyways after that um i received a comment now it wasn't a comment from a video i've recently done it was from 2021 from a video that i did standing out here on the porch just like this 
on September the 2nd, 2021. Now, if you've been following my channel, y'all know how important that year is to me because that was the year that my brother passed away, Kenny. He passed away on my birthday, which is January 21st, 121, 2021. He was the only one in my rapture vision. The only vision I've ever had was rapture vision when I was 11 years old, which is what got me on the track of watching for the rapture was that very thing to happen when I was 11. So that's why I look for the rapture. That's why I talk about it. That's why it's, you know, the main topic of my videos is because of that vision I had at 11. It was very profound. It changed my life. So, um, anyways, uh, so I get this comment and the comment was, Monday, it said something to this effect. I'm not quoting it verbatim, but it said something to the effect of Monday is September the 2nd and it's Labor Day and we're still here or something. I can't remember something to the effect. So I clicked on it to see what video that they were, why they, why they commented that on that particular video. And it was me standing on the porch on September the 2nd. Now it wasn't Labor Day in 2021, but it was on September 2nd. Labor Day was coming up. And um, it was the year that I went to the beach, and I made videos about it at Myrtle Beach. And um, this was very interesting. So I watched, started watching the video. Right, hang on a second, guys. A dog was barking at somebody walking down the street. So um, I lost my place where I was at. That was distracting. Um, so I was yeah, the, vi the video was me standing on the porch talking about, on September 2nd, 2021, Talking about the beach trip we was about to go on. And then I, I started talking about the the video that Gigi made. Now remember, I just watched her video today. Then sent Kevin the text about the alarm going off. And then I get the comment. The comment was talking about this, this video that I did in on September 2nd, 2021. Talking about Gigi's video where she had a dream about a sack bursting so she wakes up and it's also the same dream that that uh, that um hourly watch patrick in her dream hourly watch patrick patrick from hourly watch youtube channel he was saying he's coming immediately or he's he was actually saying i'm coming immediately but it was it was in reference to jesus coming immediately and he, he said that like three times like i'm coming immediately i'm coming immediately i'm coming immediately and then it happened in real life, and that's another story. I've had videos about that. I won't get into that part of it. don't matter. But um, anyways, she wakes up from the dream, and she's looking on the computer about a sack bursting because she felt like it was profound, like it was something to it. It was like a, some kind of, sort of confirmation. So she's on um, the, the Internet looking up the, the sack bursting, and all of a sudden, all the alarms in her apartment starts going off, her fire alarms. Now, that was the reason why I, re I thought of the fire alarms to send it to Ke I mean, the... I thought of sending Kevin the fact that the alarm was going off today because I had watched Gigi's video and that reminded me of the alarm because of her video. So in that video, that's what I'm talking about. And I'm also talking about that dream that I had that same night about um, being in the marketplace and I was looking for cookware and potatoes. My grandson had the balloon. And I've talked about this so many times, guys. I don't want to go through the whole dream again. But, um, but, but to make a long story short, at the end of the dream... My grandson lets go of the balloon. The balloon flies up in the air really fast, and he starts yelling, the baby's gone, the baby's gone, the baby's gone. So I wake up from that dream, and um, I had already, it was late at night, I would already talked to uh, my, my son Tyler about Gigi's dream before I had laid down to go to sleep. Um, and I woke up after having that dream, and I was talking to him again, telling him about my dream. And he asked me about the balloon. He said, was the balloon red? The, and I said, I don't know what color the balloon was. He said, well, I'm, the reason I'm asking, because if it was red, it could have represented the blood of Jesus. And right when he said that, the, the, the smoke alarm, and it was a brand new smoke alarm. It had one of those 10-year lithium batteries, and it was brand new. I, well, it was a week old. I had bought it the prior weekend. And it, the thing started going on for no reason. There wasn't nobody in, uh, cooking or anything in the house. There was no smoke. But it just starts going off. Not like the battery's going dead. It went off. As if somebody just blew a big, you know, puff of smoke in it or something. Which nobody smokes in the house or nothing. So, uh, it was weird. So, I, I'm thinking that that was... And, and the little red light was blinking something. And that's a confirmation. And I said, Tyler, it must have been. Because that, that's got to be a confirmation. He agreed. That's got to be a confirmation. That it was a red balloon. It was representing Jesus Christ. It's the blood of Jesus. But the ironic thing was... 
in the video I'm talking about the road trip that we're about to go on, which we were about to go to the beach. We were going down there for Labor Day. Now, Labor Day wasn't on September the 2nd that year, like I said. But the person who made the comment, and this, is, this video is three years old or whatever. I mean, I hardly ever get comments on old videos. It happens occasionally, like I said, but they said, Monday is September the 2nd, Labor Day. And yes, it is. And so all these things connected today as if it's to say that something is going to happen or that I shouldn't say that something's going to happen because that's like I'm saying, trying to say there's rapture date. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is almost to say that maybe September the 2nd this year being highlighted is an important date. And we'll see what it means. Who knows? And with all the, the Labor Day, I mean, Labor is... Is a baby, you know, when, the, when a woman's having a baby. So you got the Labor Day connection, the baby being born, the the baby's gone, my grandson, the fire alarms, the air raid alarm. This is interesting, guys. This is very interesting. I think the Lord is speaking very loud right now about Labor Day and alarms going off. This could mean something is going to happen. Could this mean something's going to happen in Israel? Because it seemed like that my the shofar, as I heard in back in 2020, was connected to the events that happened in um, Israel. Because I had the first the one that I heard was um, on September the 7th. The next one I heard was November 7th. I didn't hear one October the 7th, as if it was bookends highlighting October the 7th. Three years exactly to the day Israel's attacked on October the 7th, 2023. Um, the shofars is in the is in Hebrew culture is when they were stand on the wall and blow the shofars to warn people that that the sword was coming to the land. It's even in Ezekiel thirty three three. If the watchman here uh, sees the sword coming to the land, he blows the shofar. So it's almost like I was you know it was I wasn't just hearing a shofar, guys. I was hearing this thing had to be supernatural because nothing about it made any sense first of all the sound was coming from a place where people can't really go down in, in a patch of woods down in this ravine it's rocky and way the, the way the trees are you could barely walk down there in the daytime this was at nighttime way real early in the morning like um i want to say it was about um well the first one on labor day was 5 30 in the morning the one in november was like 1 15 or something in the morning but um either way you, you wouldn't be down there in the dark trying to blow any kind of shofar or trumpet or anything or any kind of instrument for that matter and it was coming from that direction and it, it didn't have an echo everything that comes from that direction even the dogs barking or people talking like that person was walking down the road just a minute ago they were shuffling their feet it was echoing there was no echo coming from the sound of that shofar and it, it was play, being played in a customary jewish fashion but well, the first one that i heard in september in 2020 was do do do, 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 do. Okay, something to that effect. The way the um, the Jewish people play the shofar, like on the Feast of Trumpets, is they'll do that first blast, you know, and then they'll do consecutive blasts after in a certain way. Anyways, it was being played in a Jewish way. So it was like like God was giving me a warning, but it was for Israel. It was to, to warn that something was going to happen, and I believe that it was highlighting October 7th. And like with anything prophetic or, or from God, it seems to be things that you... It's really hard to figure out until after the fact, and then it makes perfect sense. Kind of like prophecy. I mean, we we, we could figure it out. I mean, I knew that some that was some kind of a warning because in sep September is the ninth month and November is the eleventh month. So I, that was crazy. It's nine eleven, and, and and it was shofars, and it, it was like it was highlighting October seventh, and then three years to the day later, they get attacked. And so, um, I just wanted you guys to. I wanted to tell you about this thing because something's going on. Something's going on, and um, I won't hold you any longer. It's late, and um, I, I just want to say that keep your eyes open this weekend and Monday, especially Monday on um, September 2nd on Labor Day. I'm not saying anything's going to happen for sure or th that the rapture's going to happen. The rapture could happen any moment, but, but we'll see. And um, it's certainly, we're in a high watch period. From now on, on, on through the feast days, the fall feast days, we're in a high watch. So guys, keep your eyes to the sky. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, do it right away. Don't waste any time. This is your serious business. This is your soul. And you don't want to play Russian roulette with your soul. If you haven't accepted Him and you've been thinking about doing it, don't wait. 
Don't wait. Do it right away. Do it right now. You, you don't you don't have to go to church to get saved. You get on your knees. You don't have to get on your knees, but just go to go to God in prayer and put your faith and trust in Christ for your sins. Um, the ABCs of salvation. Admit you're a sinner because we're all sin. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and that none are righteous, no, not one. And then the B is to believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that He died and was raised on the third day. And rich is really all you need is, is B. You don't really need the C. C is, is uh, some people say, com confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And some say to call upon the name of the Lord. But either way, uh, that will do because in, in Revelation it says anyone who calls on the name of the Lord should be saved. So put your faith and trust in Christ. That's the key. Put your faith and trust in Christ. Believe it. In John 3, 16, where it says, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Believe it there. In the Greek is a word that means to put your faith and trust in. It's not just simple believing that something is, that, that Jesus exists. I mean, the devil believes that Jesus exists, and the Muslims believe He exists, but they don't put their faith and trust in Him for their salvation. Believe it is to put your faith in this case is to put your faith and trust in Christ in his finished work on the cross. To believe in Jesus is to put your faith and trust in him for your salvation. To so do it soon. Do it now. And guys, I love you very much. And I just, uh, I, like I said, I'm going to say this one last time. Keep your eyes to the sky. Things are happening. God is speaking very loud right now. And I'll see you all in the next video. Good night. Bye.